before the cops come. Come on. Come on! Get yourself together. Pretty girls, ten dollars an hour. Oh, come on. We could really use the help. We're going to the swap meet. Maybe we could take it out and trade. Oh, forget <laughs> it. You don't know what you're missing. Who needs that stuff? Oh, come on. Don't let that ruin your day. Yeah, I need the money for school. Me too. Come on, help me. Leaders, it's a beautiful cloudless day. It's 9.35 in the a.m. and here I am, Ziggy the Biggie. For the next 10 hours, it'll be me, Ziggy, your swap meet DJ. We're after your money, honey. Okay, how much you get today, Ziggy? Oh, just the usual. You can't afford your inflated prices. You rip off your stuff, I rip you off. That is the American way. Am I right, Luke? Right, Ziggy. Uh, how about the change? Play your favorite song on the PA for the difference. Balls. That's my favorite song, Balls. We don't got it. Uh, how about dedicating an entire album to someone you love? You don't love no one? What is this stuff here, anyway? Uh, this is for our nostalgia freaks, uh, pieces of the original Hollywood sign. Six inches of history for a buck a piece. Uh, how about the change, Ziggy? Got any car stereos? No, no car stereos. I was thinking perhaps you had mine. It was stolen just the other day. My heart bleeds for you, Ziggy. How about the change? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Either you guys uh, break a 50? How'd you like me to break your 50? Oh, no, 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 all right. I'll give you the change. Huh. Here. Have a lovely day. Thank you, Ziggy. Hello, Annie. Beanie! You sure look good today. You always say something nice. How about tonight? Oh, uh, the only time I have free is during the intermission. You probably want something to eat. The lights will be on. Yeah. Well, we could talk or something, and I'd split the cost of the popcorn. Yeah, well, maybe. But if you get any cancellations, you know my car. Hey. Hiya, Fred. Oh, oh, right at the beginning of the second feature, okay? Straight after the titles, okay. I got a date for the coming attraction. Oh, oh, say, Annie, uh, could I borrow some money just until tonight? Sure, how much? Oh, well, five bucks. Sure. 
You know where I keep it. Help yourself. Oh. Okay. Oh, it's for my mother. It's it's a present for her, for her birthday. Freddie, take ten. Mothers deserve the best, don't you think? Oh, I do think. Do you need any help? No, no, no. Oh, hi, Dovima. Dovima can see that you girls have had a hard time. We had to change a tire on the way in. Why do these things always happen to us? Why not? Is that philosophy? Sure. No charge. Let me see your palm. Fui. <laughs> right. Oh, when I go to heaven, I'm gonna get a car just like this. How about you, Buddha? When I... When I die, I'm gonna be buried in a car like this. Yeah, well, if my father finds out I borrowed this car, he's gonna bury me the way I am now. Oh, look at that. Hey, sweetheart, ever make it with a fat guy? <laughs> I'm in the phone book under B for a beautiful human being. Let's cut out of here and go to the swap. The man even asked me to announce that it's shoplifting is a no, 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 no. Anybody caught will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Are you getting married? No. I think a girl should always be ready for Mr. Wright. Oh, not me. I think I'll play the field a while before I settle down. Takes all kinds. <laughs> Corsage is an antique. From your family? No, from the swap meet. Oh. <laughs> I got so dirty changing the tire on my van. They ought to put a shower in here, don't you think? Keep the change. There ain't no change. <laughs> Don't tell us your problem. Bye. At the swap league, yeah. We got that special buy. At the swap league, yeah. Guaranteed to satisfy. At the swap league. Come on along, we gonna make it. Hey, come on, folks! Help send a girl to college and buy a turtle. They're exotic and rare. The perfect gift, stay with a turtle. Come on, everybody needs a pet. Okay, we get ready to buy all this junk. We have turtles up the kazoo. Sure, what's wrong with turtles? They're slimy. I don't see how you can stand to pick them up. Oh, they're cute. Oh, wow. Turtles. How much for these turtles? I'll buy them all. Oh, come on, Roy. Can't you see we're busy here? 
Uh, doesn't look that way to me. Hey, I thought only sellers were allowed in with their cars. How come you got in with yours? I got this little thing here. They, uh, call it, uh... How about, uh, me and you, we go to, uh, lunch someplace. I got this nice place picked out in San Francisco. Listen, I don't care if you got tickets to China. I am not interested. I, I, you don't know what's going on, do you? I mean, I offer you the world, and you, you, you play with the uh, turtle. Don't touch him. Well, look who brought his little toy to the meet today. Hey, uh, I don't need you guys today. Why don't you go play with your jock straps? Ooh, what he said. Oh, 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 get away oh, from that. Oh, get away, you're nice messing way. it up. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, so, oh, 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 oh you stop it. Oh, oh you terrible. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. Let me, let me, let me. Oh, 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 we'll take care of this, oh, Mr. Davis. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Oh, really, oh, Davis, really. <laughs> Mr. Davis. Are those your wheels? That's my new car. I just got it. You scratch that car and you're dead. Sure is pretty. Yeah, it sure is. Say, you doing anything tonight? I'm not in the mood for any dates right now. I'd probably have to break them anyway. Oh, well, uh, maybe I'll see you around then. Yeah, maybe. Bye. <laughs> He's cute. Oh, yeah, Mr. High School Star. Well, you can have him. Now, this is the real this McCoy. Is this is a genuine piece of the Hollywood sign. We brought it down last night. One dollar. Five bucks. Hey, look. can't you see we're working over here? Thanks sir, very much, sir. Pleasure doing business with you. Hey, uh, Luke, uh, you want to uh, stay working for my old man? Oh, shit, man. Good, I'm glad I got your attention. Now, you know those, uh, uh, Three guys, and they're selling plants, and they're driving a classic red T-Bird. Uh, yeah, we seen them around. Right? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. I want you to uh, mess up that uh, classic red T-Bird. Just a little bit. Uh, we don't, that's not our business. We don't uh, do those kind of things. How about for 100 bucks? What do you do? It doesn't matter. All you have to do is put a couple of nice little dents in that car of theirs and teach them a lesson, and you'll be doing a favor for me at the same time. Okay? Okay. Good. Uh, you got one of these for uh, Joey? I mean, we could get in a lot of trouble. Uh, police, you know. Right? Just do a very good job. Okay? Okay, Marie. Annie? It's all clear. Come on in, Ziggy. Nice day, isn't it? Mine? Annie, it's uh, time to uh, pack up and clear out. I'm on my way. Listen, Annie, my boss is beginning to figure it out about your living here. And he's a very, very, very mean man. We both could get into a whole lot of trouble. Like, if he found me here, he'd fire me. I clean up his office every morning when I wake up. And I never leave any hairpins or lipstick lying around. That's the trouble. It's too clean. He's a slob. Annie, I want to know what you do during the swap meets and during the movies at night. Like, I never see you around. And then the next day, you're always coming in with brand new clothing. Where do you get the dough to afford all that? Holy shit. Hi there, hon. Nice day, huh? Not when we're on looking at it. Playing it safe, dearie?
about something, don't worry. You are going to get a good job. I am always right. That boy is going to hurt himself. just like my grandma's kitchen, really. What's the stuff you're using? Uh, how would you like a talcum massage? <laughs> Make you feel like a baby. Uh, why don't you turn over now? Tiredness and hurting away. Ooh. Ooh. How would you like a hot towel? Nothing additional. Oh, good idea. Uh, 
get together tonight, Benny. I think you'll enjoy the rest of the picture. I've seen it five times and it's still exciting. I don't suppose you could stick around a little bit. I'm beginning to get romantic again. You mustn't be greedy, Benny. There's lots of lonely guys here. I've got my responsibilities. Oh. Much as I'd like to. Oh. Good night. What about tomorrow night? Did you really think you want to? They're playing the same picture. Good, huh? Oh. oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were someone else. Excuse me for breaking in, but afterwards, try the pizza. It's very good. <laughs> hey, Freddie, I'm a little bit earlier than I thought, so... If you want to watch some more of the film, I can wait. Oh, God, no. Come on in. I I've been thinking about you through the whole feature. I, I can't take it anymore, Annie. I can't get you out of my mind. Well, let me tell you what happens in the rest of the picture. The villain, you know the guy that's trying to get the diamonds off the young girl? Well, he has his mafia connections, and he asks him to kidnap the girl's mother. Yeah. And, uh... They're going to hold it for ransom, and the police sergeant, who, who's really in love with the girl's yeah. mother, well, he has a friend in the Mafia, and when he finds out of their plan, he decides to trap them. Oh. And can you guess where they're planning to take her, and who really has the diamonds? Oh! Well, what if I tell you the rest later? Yeah. Hey. Oh. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not a chance. Yeah. I bet you are, though. Come on. Football champ, basketball champ. You were the center of it all. All right, man. Two, two more
Hope you got a lot of insurance. You don't even have the brains to dress yourselves right. Yeah, well, how'd you like me to knock your goddamn head off? Oh, tough man. Hey, 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 I'm man. scared. Yeah. Off. yeah, well, you're full of shit. <laughs> man, man, you're fat. Just like me, man, we're brothers. You're giving fat people a bad name. Fat people are fun-loving people. They love life. <laughs> disgusting. I mean, I'm gonna have you thrown out of fat people's union, man. Because you're one no-good fat bastard. Yeah. Yeah. I use this to skin smart asses like you. Yeah! Ever hear of Bruce Lee? He was my cousin. Come on, everybody, let's, let's go. Get in the car. Hurry, get in the car. Yeah, we'll get you, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Shit. Are you really gonna fight that, Uncle Blard? Yeah, I would have stopped you. <laughs> oh, yeah? How about me? I'm the one who got you guys out of this fix. Oh, well, you are both my heroes. Oh, no. <laughs> Doug, it'll be all right. It's your car. You can get it fixed. It'll be simple. It's just a little dent. Yeah, well, it's not my car. It's my father's car. I only borrowed it. Oh, no. You know what Doug's father put into this car? Three years of working day and night just to make it a cherry. And when Doug's father finds out there's a dent in this baby, he's going to have a heart attack. Then he's going to kill Doug. He's in a lot of trouble, Nancy. Poor Doug. Loving hands will take that fold of metal and gently tap it out from behind. Then, with the most precision of files and finest of sandpaper, I'll smooth it out where the bad people made it hurt. Then, we'll send away to Neptune, New Jersey to a special paint person who will lovingly mix the paint personally to match this baby to a T. Yes. Then we'll apply <laughs> the first coat. And instead of just letting it dry, Hex and I will blow warm breath on the paint, <laughs> so it will dry evenly. You know, you put you put uh, you put paint on here; it'll bubble up. It comes out. Max, how long will this take? I could have it for you six months. Jesus, you kidding? I gotta have this car by Friday before my father gets back. Friday, Max. Okay, you got it. It'll stage you 250 clams. Oh no! <laughs> That's it. Bottom line, 250, period. The great car, it's worth fixing. $250 is not very much. It's up to you. I like him. I, I really like him, and I like the way he talked at first. He's got two and a half. You got two and a half? Hell no. I got an idea, though. I got an idea. We can sell some stuff at the swap meet. Sure, I got some old lamps and some old records my mama don't want. Sure, and I got some trophies. What trophies? Oh, I'd like to get my hands on those sons of bitches. Let me at them. Just let me at them. I'm gonna mash them. And then I'm gonna smash them. And then... I'm gonna sit on them. Are you gonna sell that stuff? Yeah, but we sure need the bread. 
It cost you five bucks. Oh, what can we pay in a week? We need every nickel. In a week? We are in the business of selling space. This is like Hollywood Boulevard, man. You can't get in here without paying the rent. This drive-in is a big operation. We got all sorts of taxes to pay. We got real estate taxes, withholding taxes, water tax, overhead, underhead, you name it. Can we make a deal? You know I don't go in for that. We'll pay tomorrow. Today. Tonight. Now. Okay, it's a deal. We'll pay on the way out. What? The way out. The way out. Hey, Don Viva, how did it go yesterday? Not too bad. But here I think I will do better. Yesterday they put me between the used tires and that Hitler youth gang. Man, the vibrations were wrong. Oh, how about us? Are we gonna do better? I think so. You want to take a look? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cut the deck. All right. There's going to be problems, disruptions. <laughs> so what else is new? Don't worry. In time, this too shall pass. Jovima, should I go steady with the guy that I just met? For a question of such emotional significance, I shall have to kill a chicken tonight and swing it around my head six times. Yeah, forget. <laughs> well, after you kill the chicken, could you ask a question for me, too? Can a man who's gone out with a lot of women ever settle down with just one? For a chicken shit question like that, don't ask me. Ask dear Abby. <laughs> That boy is going to hurt himself again. Yeah. Well, thanks a lot, Dovima. Hey, Swap Eaters, anybody find a lost little boy who answers to the name of Melvin? The grieving pair. Look! Mother and father will tell oh. the door that Melvin has returned intact. Now, the personal service from Ziggy are oh. driving Ziggy. I think the movie's over. God, what a way to spend a night. Yeah. Now, now folks for the Robinsons to welcome their new little one to the meet. Right here. Hey, this turtle dead. Well, of course not. All of our turtles are alive. Would you like us to paint it for you? Nah, he don't need no paint where he's going. I'm gonna flush him down the toilet. Aw, oh, doesn't he have a cute sense of humor? You can't flush our turtles down the toilet. They're too big. Don't tell me what to do. I name him Rich Jackson, because I hate Rich Jackson. Yeah. I flush Tom Seaver down the toilet. Steve Garvey down the toilet. Football starts, I'm gonna flush O.J. Simpson. Well, guys, it looks like we're all set. Swap meters. Right. If your car is covered with dirt, bird droppings, or soot from the freeway, stop in at the Hollywood Car Wash on your way home. A clean car is a happy car. Oh, and uh, tell them that Ziggy sent you. Hey, kid, come here. Come here. Just checking up to see how business is going. You care to see our emporium? We took it at 75 cents so far. Ooh, sounds wow. great. <laughs> hey, lady, before you go, I want to buy a turtle. Oh, you do, little boy. Well, I'll tell you what you do. Why don't you go home and put your head in the toilet and see how that feels? Give it a little flush. And if that doesn't work, you can come back tomorrow and maybe we'll sell you a turtle. I ought to report her. Well, you can report her to me, lady. Well, I will, you slut. <laughs> Come on, Roger. I'll get you a parakeet. So what was that all about? Oh, just another satisfied customer. Oh, <laughs> oh no. What? Uh, is this stuff for sale? Of course it is. That's what it's all about. That's why we're here. Oh, I'm sorry, but nobody's gonna buy stuff like this. Oh, yeah, I just sold one of these just like it for 75 cents. Uh-huh. These are the guys, Mr. Boone. I'll take care. Okay, Thomas, what's happening here? Hmm? What do you mean? Come on, come on. Ziggy tells me you fellas didn't pay the set up your stand. Come on, pack up. Pack up. Pack up. Anybody want to buy a turtle? Buy your mother a turtle. How's this? The uh, turtle turret business going, sweetheart? It's fine until the air around here started getting bad. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, let me tell you something. 
Those cops gave me a ticket last night because of your asshole boyfriend. Well, that's not my fault. Maybe you ought to learn how to drive. <laughs> <laughs> Joey, she's keeping the uh, laughs coming, ain't she? Yeah, yeah, regular clowns. <laughs> <laughs> We really are sorry. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're really sorry. Sorry. We're really sorry. Really sorry. I got a. Uh, I got two and a quarter. What do you got? I got an extra buck that makes three and a quarter. What about you, Buddha? I want a receipt. Yeah. Are, are you talking to me? Yeah, I'm talking to you. I'd like a receipt and sign in front of 500 witnesses. Those two guys just tore up our stand. What two what guys? guys? What two guys? Yeah. What you got? Oh. Come on, come on. I don't enough for you guys. I don't want you around here. Clean your things and get out here. Get everything up. Get out! 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 Hey! I don't believe it! Why did they do this to us? I don't know, they're crazy! Hey, there goes Annie! Let's hear it for SEX. You don't hear anybody complaining to you. you give people what they want, it makes them happy. And if you make them happy, they throw money at you. Hi, Ziggy. Business looks good today. Yeah, it's not bad. There's a new movie on tonight starring Nick Nolte. He's one of my favorites. I loved him in the deep. It's supposed to be just okay. Well, it opens tonight, and you know what that means. You're gonna get all dressed up again. Oh, for Christ's sake, Annie, this ain't no big Hollywood premiere. Things are what you make them, Zygmunt. Oh, yeah? Would you mind if I plugged in my electric razor? I've got to shave my legs. Something special tonight, aren't you, Ziggy? Maybe after the movie, we could go out and split a taco. Okay, do you want the complete sexual fulfillment for five or the everything you wanted for ten? For ten dollars. I figured as much. Next, big boy. You here for complete sexual fulfillment? No, I paid the ten dollars for the uh, everything you wanted. Good choice. Now go ahead and tell us everything you want. Don't be shy. Well, speak right up. We're all listening. You mean there'll be five of us? Oh, you're good at math too. <laughs> well, aren't you gonna take the clothes? No, I hadn't planned on it. Name your pleasure. Petting, getting it on, uh, poppers. Oh, wait a minute. Don't I get to, uh, you know... Oh, well, yeah, sure. All of us are more than happy to talk to you about anything you'd like. We won't do it. We'll just talk. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. 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 Those other guys walked out of here with big smiles on their face. I mean, they were winking and giggling when they walked out of here. If they walked out yelling, screaming, and complaining, the other people in the line might think uh, that they couldn't make it work. You get my drift? And we know that that would make you feel very bad. <laughs> oh, shit. They thought I couldn't. Okay. Somebody's turning this place into a whorehouse. How did you find out? Find out? They got a sign outside advertising it. They didn't clear with us. Clear with you? Come on, let's go! 
Now remember, big smile and lots of winks when they ask you how it was. Don't you worry about a thing. Oh. See you later, girls. Amen. Mr. Booth, listen to me. Nothing really happens inside. It's all a big joke. Ha 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 You're turning this place into a cat house and that ain't no joke. No, we're not, Mr. Booth. We wouldn't do anything like that. Yeah, well, you see, we had to get even. Those guys, they tore off our merchandise and they killed our turtles. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. In other words, there's no hanky-panky going on? Of course not. But everybody's having a good time. In the meanwhile, why don't you take yourself and your sexual fulfillment and get out of here before I call the cops. All right, but in that case, all right, all right, we'd like on. our rent money back. We'll settle for half, right, guys? That right. sounds good enough to me. Out! 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 OK, we're going. Get out! We're going, we're going. <laughs> out! All right, all right. <laughs> What you don't understand is that everything I work for is ruined. It's destroyed because that son of a bitch, Roy Davis. You know, he's behind all this. Yeah, but you, you're never going to prove it. Baby, I don't need to prove it. There's a T-word up in San Jose exactly like the one I got. It's for sale. But it's $6,000. Mm. I got an idea. Let's steal Roy Davis's machine. I know some guys will sell it right away. And with the money, we can buy the T-bird in San Jose. Yeah, he deserves it. Oh, but I don't know about stealing, you know, even from Roy. I don't want to steal from anybody. But on the other hand, we could take it and make Roy a deal, a, a trade. A swap? Sure. Yeah. Roy Davis has the money. Make him pay for that T-bird. Yeah. Yeah. Where, where can we keep it? Leave that to Buddha. I got the perfect place. Wait a minute. We don't even know where the Ferrari is. Dovima can help us find the Ferrari. Yeah, how? By reading our palm? <laughs> Dovima is a mystic. She can tell the future. I believe in her. Oh, yeah? I wish she'd given us a sneak preview a couple days ago. Has anybody got a better idea? Yeah. Do you think you can help us, Dovima? Yes, wait a bit till this spirit's all in better shape. Oh, Hello, everybody. Hello. 
anybody care for a carbonated beverage or a Dr. Watts's name? They're not cold. I like to drink them at room temperature. Yeah, but it's pretty warm in here. Yes, it keeps away the evil spirits. You know why we're here? Of course. You wish to kidnap the Ferrari and hold it for ransom so you can swap it for that lost-up T-bird, uh-huh? My God, Dovima, I never believed. Wow, that is incredible. No one told you anything. Now you believe. Yeah, well, where's the Ferrari? Now, that's a good question. Yeah, but you just said... Dovima might be able to help you with a Ferrari. And she would do that for a friend. And Nancy is a friend. And Susan is a friend of Nancy, so she would do it for Susan. Well, I'm just as much a friend of Nancy's as Susan is. Then it is not just because you are trying to get into her pants. Get in her pants. Get in her pants. <laughs> uh, enough. I think the both of you are full of shit. Oh. <laughs> if I were a young man, I would be trying to get into her pants. The Ferrari, Dovima. Uh-huh. Yes, uh-huh. The Ferrari. Uh-huh. It's at Max's repair shop. And as for the keys, they are inside the front door under the calendar. Tovima, I never believed you before, but uh, I gotta say I believe you now. You do, young man? I guess I do, too. Well, it so happens that I brought my Merc wagon into Max's shop today, and I saw the Ferrari and where he keeps the keys to all the cars. <laughs> oh, Dovima, if I were just ten years younger. Darling. Pubula. Uh, bullshit! <laughs> Some no. Hey, Buddha, watch the. I, I mean, they'll protect us with their lives. You'll see. It'll all work out. I don't care. I'm hungry. I want something to eat. Eat? Sure. Nana! Nana, eat! 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 Nobody's ever made pancakes up here before. How do you like them? If Mr. Booth ever found out about this, he'd drop dead. Well, then you could be the manager. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> that guy is as tough as nails. Well, you're tough, too. I like a strong man. You know, I'd make someone a wonderful wife. Where'd you get the dog? He's just a puppy. I call him Ziggy. For Christ's sake, that's my name. Well, that's why I call you Ziggy, too. I, uh, I still can't help wondering 
Where do you get all the pretty clothes you wear? Fellas just give them to me because they like me. Well, you like me too, don't you, Ziggy? I wish I Pancakes are burning. I know. I know. Sit down. <laughs> I'm a very good cook. I'm going to make Mr. Wright very happy for his whole life. Ta-da. <laughs> Delicious. Eat your heart out. <laughs> Sandwich, uh, you know, a couple of cups of coffee. You want something? You want a little liver wish on rye or something? <laughs> um, make it three, four cups of coffee. Mac, Mac. You don't want anything? Mac, where is my car? That's a hard question to answer. Max. Max! <laughs> Max! I don't want to hear the rap about having to send to Italy for the special paintbrush. All you have to do is paint a little scratch. Little tiny scratch. No bigger than a dime. And then give the car back to me. Now, how long is that going to take? Roy, now, don't lose your temper. I mean, a little scratch like that is nothing for me. A cakewalk, I could do that like that. Nothing. Peanuts. I mean, that could take maybe a day, a week. A month at the most, but... And I know you want your car perfect. And that's exactly how I'm going to give it to you. Perfect. Just as soon as I find it. You lost my car? No. You lost my car? Do you want to hear about the ransom note? What ransom note? Yeah, the, the kidnappers, the car Yeah. Yeah. They left this note here. It says, Dear Shithead, maybe I should have left that out. I know you destroyed my T-Bird. I don't know what that means. Uh, and that's only half of what's going to happen to your Ferrari unless you replace the T-Bird as it was. I could do that. It's not signed. You want to go to the police? It's up to you. I'm going to take care of this myself. And you, you keep your mouth shut. Right. Absolutely. But now, I don't want to lose your business. As soon as we get the car back, I'm leaving everything. I'm going to work only on the Ferrari. I'm going to get that thing looking slick and spin. I'll drop everything like a hot potato. All set? Something missing. Yeah, it does need something. The chickens! <laughs> Come on, chicken. Come here, baby. Come here, chicken. Come on. Come on, chicken. Come on, chicken. Gotcha. The goats, that'll be perfect. <laughs> Susan, get that dog. Oh, oh man. Man. Okay, this is great. Hey, kids, come here. Come on, come on. We got it. Come on. Okay. Did you get it? Come on, boys. Uh, hi, Roy. Uh, what's your matter? What's the matter, Roy? Are you guys, you went and you bent up the T-Bird, right? Sure, forever, just like you paid us to. Never get those pieces together, Roy. What a yeah. mess. Yeah, good. very good. Well, those guys, they went and they stole my car. The Ferrari? The Ferrari? Yeah, the Ferrari. And they said they're going to do the same number on my car as you did on their car. And you know something? If that's anything happens to my car at all, I'm going to kill somebody. I don't blame you, Roy, because a car's a precious thing. Now, listen. I want my car back without a scratch on it, and I want you to mess those guys up good. Right. Now, right. I don't care how you do it, just when. And when is right now. Uh, by the way, uh, the Mexicans gave me this to give to you. 
What the heck is this? Like that goat, huh? It's funny. Danny, Jesse, how you doing? Do you know how to play the cucaracha? Sure. <laughs> Everybody's a critic. <laughs> That's right. I think a woman should be independent. I absolutely agree. <laughs> no. You're so obnoxious. You're just like, oh, man, you think I'm kidding. So what are we going to do about the car? I haven't even thought about it. How could I feel so good and have such unbelievable problems? Well, you're just a multifaceted guy. <laughs> Yeah, sure. <laughs> you know, we should have met years ago. Yeah, except that in high school, you were the last person I wanted to meet. Yeah? Yeah. So what's different now? You are. <laughs> you still stink! You didn't give me a chance to work it out! <laughs> <laughs> Come on out! You're the guy that gave me the goddamn pictures. Now where's the car? Come on, you greasers are all alike. Where is it? Tell me! This is the life. Good food, good friends, good food. <laughs> take your hands off me. I said, take your hands off me, you lousy greaser. As I was saying, before I was so rudely interrupted. Hi, guys. Uh, you let us go. Well, guys, glad you can make it. Yep. Please accept the hospitality of the Rancho Esmeralda. <laughs> I can see the man who delivered the message told you where we were. Why don't you just let us go and give us some chicken, huh? Mm. Gus are going to be in a lot of trouble. Max knows a guy in San Jose who's got a T-bird for sale, exactly like the one I had. You remember that? Well, you tell Roy Davis he's got till tomorrow at 3 p.m. to join us at the swap meet. And in front of everybody. With no hard feelings, of course. <laughs> if he's driving that T-bird from San Jose, I'll be driving this baby. And we can swap. All right, you tell Davis at 3 p.m. sharp. Get him out of here. Bye, guys. <laughs> yeah, I'll get you. Here's your chicken. <laughs> yeah. Listen, you and Susan yeah. go back to town and tell Ziggy to set up the driving for the big swap tomorrow. Oh, okay. Well, suppose he wants the money. Money? This will make him famous. Oh. No, he should pay us. Yeah. <laughs> You've been quiet a long time. Something bothering you? Sorry. I was just thinking, you know. I know now why all those girls fell for Doug. Do you think we're falling in love with those guys? I don't know. Doug sure kisses good. A little drunk, huh? Oh, I'll be sorry to see it go. Oh, what a beautiful car. I'm sorry I was so mean to you the first time we met. We should take it for one last little ride, don't you think? I couldn't have said it better myself. But we don't hurt it, though. Because we must admit, we are a little drunk. Oh, I'm sorry, Dad. No, no, you don't. Get off. I got him. I'm sorry, Dad. Maybe we can put the tarp on, and that way, when we drive, we won't hurt it. Good idea. We'll pop the top and then we'll get inside and drive the tarp on. And you'll be our pilot. Jesus.
It sure is dark in here. Maybe we should put on the headlights. I can't see a damn thing. I can't see. What? Maybe they need fixing or something. Yeah. I can't see anything. Well, that's okay. I can see just fine. I will holler orders and you listen to me, okay? <laughs> okay. Okay, I got the hang of it now. Let's take it around our block. Okay. Okay. Bye. shooting star and you can make a wish on a shooting star so I'm giving you half my wish Annie I'm a little disappointed in you oh what for now I mean I don't understand it a nice girl like you with all those guys what should I do I don't know it just seems strange all those guys here in the drive-in isn't it a beautiful night <laughs> It isn't as if there were one special guy who was really interested. Well, there is a Mr. Wright, but he won't say anything. Except, well, I made that wish. What wish? Oh, nothing for you. You get all your hot dogs and soda for free. You get commissions on all the people you let in who are selling stolen goods and the people you sneak in. Then you sell commercials on the loudspeaker. And you collect rent from me. Yes, yeah, so... So, so what? Ziggy, you're my Mr. Right. Hey, 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 wait a minute. Why don't we... Get married? Are you kidding? Well, you could ask for more money and maybe run this place. We could live here forever. And I love the movies. Annie. Mm. Annie, what are you doing? Oh, Annie. Ziggy! Ziggy! Mm -hmm. Sorry, we're not open for business. But Ziggy, we've got a great surprise for you. Your drive-in could become world famous overnight. Ziggy, you could have the best swap meet ever tomorrow. Ziggy, you're not listening to us. Annie, keep on doing what you're doing. They'll go away in a second. But, Ziggy, there's money. Lots and lots 
of money. Annie, will you cut that out? Can't you see these girls aren't talking shit? Ow! <laughs> Ziggy, Ziggy, Ziggy! Now, you picked a hell of a time to go out on strike. The workers have to band together in the war against the bosses. What are you talking about? You're the only one on the whole driving. Mr. Booth, I am going to make your hey, drive-in world Mr. famous here. today. You'll see, Come people on, will be yeah, driving in from go. miles around to see the swap of the century. And I need more money. What for? I'm going to get married. Married? I work your day and night. When have you got time to meet a girl? Or is it a girl? Her name is Annie, and she loves the movies. She could work in the concession stand. She could learn to run the projector. She is going to be a big help and a wonderful wife for the assistant manager and partner of the drive-in. I don't know what you're talking about. I'll have my lawyer call you in the morning, partner. Oh, thanks, Mr. Booth. All right, open for business. So that's what happened. So, what are you assholes trying to tell me? Roy, that's no reason to be abusive. I thought we was friends, Roy. Listen, I'll tell you who my friends are. They're the guys who do what I tell them to do. Now, how can you be my friends if you have the goddamn car under your goddamn nose and then you lose it? Well, uh, look, this is what happened. There were a hundred Mexican wetbacks. Yeah, like a hundred and a quarter of them, Roy. Right, and they were blocking away and they had guns. Shut up! Now, I'm gonna tell you what you gotta do. Because I don't want to go to the swap meet and be embarrassed in front of a thousand people. Now, you listening? Yeah. Yeah. If you value my friendship, you're going to get in your truck. Give me the keys. You're going to head those guys off. I don't got the keys, Luke. You got the keys. And you're going to get my car back. I gave you the keys before. I got the keys. You got the keys. Maybe you're in the truck. Maybe you're in the truck, but... Well, what are you going to be doing, Roy? I'm going to do what you guys are supposed to be doing. I told you. Davima. You're going to be the first to know. Of course, you being a mystic in the sea, you probably already know. You're pregnant. Do you think so? No. I'm going to marry Ziggy. What? Well, I made that my wish. Yeah, especially if you're pregnant. I'll see you later, Davima. I've got to go kiss all my boyfriends. Goodbye. You'll wear out your lip. Give it up to me. Upsidaiser. Upsidaiser. I don't know where the rhyme coming to go when you make me lazy. I can't explain, but my love is growing. So give me a minute to prove to you what you mean to me. man in your future. Oh, yeah? Well, if it's my husband, forget it. No, 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 no. Not him. Somebody, um, hmm, in authority, maybe? Cops? Hey, whose hand is this? It's part of my equipment. I got it from a pregnant gypsy. Oh, 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 he dropped something. If you want me to continue reading your palm, two dollars. Well, think of that. I've been watching you. I've been watching you. I've had my eyes on you all day. Hey, 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 did you get yours today? This next quarter of an hour comes to you with the compliments of a Mamma Mia's pizzeria. Mmm, I'm having one now and it's good. Today is the day. You all experience the super color swap of mystic event of a lifetime. Stand up for the swap and be here. <laughs> Your announcement sounds great, Ziggy. Looks like you're cleaning up. 
This gig with your newfound boyfriend's better be for real or I am in hot water. Yeah, deep trouble, main turbulence. It's critical. Hang on, Biggie. Help is on its way. It'll be okay. Yeah? Yeah. How come I got stomach cramps? Look, why don't you finish this Mamma Mia's pizza? Oh, thanks. Hey, lady! Oh, I remember you. Now, where are the turtles? Little boy. I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to her. Where are the turtles? We don't have any more turtles, little boy. Hey, is that peach any good? Yeah, you want some? Hey! But you know I'll never let you go. You're back! I need a car. I'm gonna get those guys. I need a car. You got a car? I got, I got nothing here that runs except the tow truck. Where are the keys? Here are the keys. Good. No, Roy! You can't, you can't take the, the tow truck. That's my only means of transportation. No, Roy, I, my house keys are Back. there. How many times I ever tell you, keep your mouth shut? Roy, now listen. No, wait. No, you can't take it. You... Oh, yeah, you got no regard for another person's property. I gotta come by here eventually. You sure? Of course I'm sure. It's the only way back to town. Except if they go by way of San Diego. And that's 200 miles further. Further than what? Ladies, gentlemen, you are about to witness the swapping of the century when the Guinness Book of Records enshrines the biggest swap ever made at a drive-in. They will record this day, this very afternoon, where, in the spirit of fair play and good fellowship, a Dino Ferrari, borrowed in a childish prank, will be exchanged for a classic T-Bird. It was a pretty good idea to cut a hole in the canvas, Buddha. I know, but still, I thought it was more fun when I was on top. Yeah, you bet. Hey, even driving without seeing, I'm a pretty good driver, what you say? Yeah. Oh, shit, you had Buddha for a periscope. Hey, man, I'm no periscope. You gotta be thin to be a periscope. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, sure, Mr. Booth. Anything you say? This car sure is any ball of fire, let me tell you. Well, yeah, but really. what kind of gas did you put in it back at the ranch? The only kind we had. Kerosene from the tractor. Oh, shit! Kerosene, you idiot! Hurry, I need your help very badly. Oh, Ziggy. Come on. You're worried about those boyfriends of yours.
You're not going to believe this, Captain. Ladies and gentlemen, due to circumstances beyond our control, the world's largest swap meet has been indefinitely postponed. But next week, we will definitely have a large supply of domestic and foreign auto parts for sale. So if you need parts for a Ferrari, or a Ford pickup, or a T-Bird, or a cop car, come on by. But don't forget to bring your money, honey. Well, folks, you should have been at the wedding. 10,000 of our closest friends showed up, and we collected enough money to fix up the T-Bird good as new. Roy? Well, Doug, Billy, and Buddha take turns visiting him every Sunday at the mental home. Oh, yeah. On our wedding day, Mr. Booth turned over half the drive-in like he said. <laughs> no big deal. It's the least he could do for his only son and his beautiful daughter-in-law. Stay on top of the swap!